Good morning. Please kneel and join us for the prayer to Jesus, the Divine Word. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Jesus, Divine Word made flesh, from the beginning you already were. Before even time began, you were Son and with the Father and the Holy Spirit, three persons, one God. But in the fullness of time, you who created man became man yourself. Through God, the Holy Spirit, and Mary, you became Jesus, divine word made flesh. You came to our world to save us and show us how to live and love here so we may live and love hereafter. Dear Jesus, divine word incarnate, please teach us to follow you. May our love for you always be made flesh, not ever lost in word or song alone. In prayer, we come face to face with you, like you with the Father and Holy Spirit. In love and service, may we likewise come face to face with our sisters and brothers, the least of them most of all. For as we treat each other, so do we treat you. In your name, we pray now always and in all ways. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A blessed day to all of you, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is Wednesday, and the church celebrates today the Feast of St. John, the Apostle and Evangelist. Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Louis Punzalan, SVD. Our celebration will now begin. Please rise. the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We celebrate today the feast of one of the apostles of Jesus. He is not only an apostle, he is also an evangelist or gospel writer. Saint John, the apostle and evangelist, the youngest of the apostles in age, and who is also known as the beloved disciple you were sent to heal the contrite lord have mercy lord have mercy you came to call sinners christ have mercy christ have mercy you plead for us at the right hand of the father lord have mercy lord have mercy may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen
and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, o God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the blessed Apostle John have unlocked for us the secrets of your word, grant we pray that we may grasp with proper understanding what he has so marvelously brought to our ears through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the first letter of St. John. Beloved, what was from the beginning, what we have heard, what we have seen with our eyes, what we looked upon and touched with our hands, concerns the word of life. For the life was made visible, we have seen it and testified to it and proclaim to you the eternal life that was with the Father and was made visible to us. What we have seen and heard, we proclaim now to you, so that you too may have fellowship with us, for our fellowship is with the Father and with His Son, Jesus Christ. We are writing this so that our joy may be complete. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The Lord is King. Let the earth rejoice. Let the many isles be glad. Clouds and darkness are around him. Justice and judgment are the foundation of his throne. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim His justice, and all peoples see His glory. Rejoice, Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Light dawns for the just, and gladness for the upright of heart. Be glad in the Lord, you just, and give thanks to His holy name. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. We rise to honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading is taken from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb. We do not know where they put him. And so Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial clothes there, but he did not go in. 
When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial clothes there and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial clothes but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed. My dear brothers and sisters, this is the gospel, the good news of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We celebrate today the feast of one of the apostles of the Lord, the youngest, as a matter of fact, the youngest of the twelve, and he is also one of the four gospel writers. The other three gospel writers or evangelists are Matthew, Mark, and Luke. And today we celebrate one of the four gospel writers in the person of St. John the Evangelist. John must have been a very good writer because he did not only write the gospel of John, he also wrote three letters as well as the book of Revelation in the New Testament. But who is John the Evangelist? John is the son of Zebedee and he is the brother of another apostle named James. He is known as the disciple whom Jesus loved. The vocation of John and his brother James is stated very simply in the Gospels along with the story of Peter and his brother Andrew. These four men were fishermen. James and John, Peter and Andrew, Jesus called them, and the four of them followed Jesus immediately. That faith was to be rewarded by a special friendship with Jesus for the three former fishermen, Peter, James, and John. Why do we say that it was rewarded by a special association or friendship with the Lord? Because Peter, James, and John alone were privileged to be present at the transfiguration event. They were also there and they witnessed the raising of the daughter of Jairus and they were also there and they witnessed the agony in the garden of Gethsemane. John's own gospel refers to himself as the beloved disciple, the one who reclined next to Jesus during the Last Supper, and the one to whom Jesus gave the exquisite honor as he stood beneath the cross of caring for the mother of the Lord when the Lord said, Son, behold your mother, and woman, behold your son. It was to John the Evangelist that Jesus committed the care of the Blessed Mother. Because of the depth of his gospel, John the Evangelist is usually thought of as the eagle of theology. But the ever frank gospels reveal some very human characteristics because Jesus gave James and John the nickname Sons of Thunder because of their temper. They would easily get angry. They would easily feel agitated. That is why the Lord called them the Sons of Thunder. And while it is difficult to know exactly what this meant, a clue is given into incidents. They, another account says, the mother asked that they might sit in the places of honor in the kingdom of Jesus, one on the right and the other on the left. And when Jesus asked them if they could drink the cup that he would drink and be baptized with the baptism of pain, they blithely answered, yes, we can. On another occasion, the sons of thunder asked Jesus if they should not call down fire from heaven 
upon the inhospitable Samaritans who would not welcome Jesus because the Lord was then on His way to Jerusalem. But Jesus turned to them only to reprimand the disciples, especially John. My dear friends, on the first Easter, Mary Magdalene ran off to Peter and to John, the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb. We do not know where they put the body of the Lord. And John recalls, perhaps with a smile, that he and Peter were running side by side, but then John outran Peter and reached the tomb first. But John did not enter but waited for Peter and let Peter go in first. And then the disciple who just arrived first, meaning John, went in. And John saw and believed. John is also with Peter when the first great miracle of the resurrection took place. The cure of the man crippled from birth that led to their spending the night in jail together. My dear brothers and sisters, there are many other incidents in the book of the Bible that we can mention about John the Evangelist. And John is, of course, best known for his great gospel, for the three letters and the book of Revelation. The gospel of John is a very personal account because he sees the glorious and the divine Jesus already in the incidents of the mortal life of the Lord. And at the Last Supper, Jesus speaks in John's Gospel as if he were already in heaven. That is why this Gospel is known as the glory of Jesus. John the Evangelist died toward the end of the first century in Ephesus in Asia Minor. Amen. John the Evangelist was called the beloved disciple because he was the faithful one, close to the heart of Christ. Let us pray through the incarnate God revealed in the gospel, the word who is life. Let our response be, Father of Jesus, bless us. Father of Jesus, bless us. That the church may be zealous in her apostolic mission entrusted to her by Christ. We pray. Father, Father of Jesus, Jesus bless, bless us. us. That we may strive to conform our wills so that to that of Christ, we pray. Father, Father of Jesus, Jesus bless, bless us. us. That like St. John, we may have a deep knowledge of Jesus by studying the truth of our faith, we pray. Father, Father of, of Jesus, Jesus bless, bless us. That we may have the courage to follow Christ to the cross and to the empty tomb, we pray. Father, Father of Jesus, Jesus bless, bless us. us. That we may share in St. John's gentle love for Our Lady, we pray. Father, Father of, of Jesus, Jesus, bless us. In silence, we pray for other personal intentions. We pray. Father, Father of, of Jesus, Jesus bless, bless us. us. Let us also include the following intentions in this Mass. The special intention of Jeffrey Sayok for the birthday of Jess Pallad, Odi Pineda, Jerry Rubis, Irene Kemada, and for the healing of Marjorie Palencia, let us pray to the Lord. Father of Jesus, bless us. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Come to me and drink, come to me and drink, O oh, let all who are thirsty, 
Come to me and drink. I will put my spirit within you, and you shall live and know that I am the Lord. Come to me and drink. Come to me. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Come to me and drink. Come to me and drink, all at all who are thirsty. Come to. Rise. Let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Sanctify the offerings we have made, O Lord, we pray, and grant that from the banquet of the supper we may draw the hidden wisdom of the eternal word, just as from the same source, you revealed it to your Apostle John the Evangelist through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us now give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For on the feast of this awe-filled mystery, though invisible in his own divine nature, he has appeared visibly in ours and begotten before all ages, he has begun to exist in time, so that raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation and call straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and gave you thanks he broke it he gave it to the disciples and said take this all of you and eat of it this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more he gave you thanks. Gave the chalice to the disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many 
for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in my memory. The mystery of our faith. As we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread all over the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto, our Bishop. Remember your servants, Gloria Gomez, Allen Martinez, Ardarlene Madlambayan, Camille Marivalle, Alfredo Almero, Victorino Cusi, Ru Roby Andres, Benilda Cardosa, Ronald Cardoza, Santiago Baroa, and Narcisa Maligaling, whom you have called from this world to yourself, grant that they who were united with your Son in a death like His may also be one with Him in His resurrection. And remember to our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, all the apostles, all the saints, especially Saint John the Evangelist, all who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With confidence, let us again pray the Lord's Prayer. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our, our daily bread, bread and, forgive and forgive us our, our trespasses, trespasses as, as we, we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against death. us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord from every evil grant us peace in our days in your mercy keep us free from sin protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And you said, Lord, to your apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Greet each other with a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. The beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. 
My dear friends, this is Jesus, the Word made flesh and splendor of the Father, the Lamb of God who takes away our sins and the sin of the world. Happy are those invited to receive Him. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter, enter under, under my, my roof, roof, but, but only say the word and, and my soul shall be, healed. shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the Word made flesh, proclaimed by the Apostle John the Evangelist, may through this mystery which we have celebrated ever dwell among us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for some announcement. Good morning. Magandang umaga po, lalong-lalo na sa mga sumusubaybay sa atin sa ating pang-araw-araw na online mass dito sa Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word. Binabati namin kayo ng isang maligayang Pasko. Ang kasama na rin ng inyong mga mahal sa buhay, ang inyong pamilya. The all the Divine Word missionaries here at Christ the King wish you a very merry and blessed Christmas. I'd like to take this opportunity to acknowledge, to thank some individuals for sending their valuable help and assistance to our, for the benefit of our seminarians. Nais ko pong pasalamatan ng ilang pangalan ngayong umagang ito sa mga, na mga nagpadala ng kanilang tulong para sa ating mga seminarista. Ang amin pong paghingi ng tulong ay walang katapusan Hingi kami ng hingi ng tulong sapagkat kailangan ng mga seminarista sa kanilang board and lodging 
at tuition ang inyong itinutulong sa amin. In particular, I'd like to mention some names. Baka hindi ko mabasa lahat ngayong umagang ito, babasahin ko ang iba bukas. Judge Ami Reyes, Eugene and Ami Ganson, Meg Gonzalez, Froilan De Vera, Luz Mangahis, Connie Padua, Marisa Rinulayan, Marilu De Jesus, Margie Maristela, Jessica Catalbas, Winda Piano, Nawala. Almi Mehoy, Alice Poblete, Milagros Salandoni, Melesio D, Nenita Esmiharda, April Lapitan, Maria Luisa Maluloyon, Mercedita Reyes, Priscila Perfecto, Diva Rubis, Edwin Rapisora, Ruth Garcela, Rosalie Calumba, Carol Silvia Cruz, and Laila Binyas. Sa inyo po, maraming maraming salamat. I will read the other names tomorrow because I will also be the presider tomorrow. At patuloy kaming humihingi ng tulong, ipinapakita namin sa inyo ang aming account with, a, with Banco de Oro, Divine Word Mission Seminary Inc., The account number is 000-220-191-247. And we also have two GIGAS numbers, namely 0967-318-9830. And uh, we have also an email address, ckmsdonorcare at gmail.com. So we thank our benefactors, past, present, and future, uh, very sincerely for sharing your blessings with us during this season of grace and blessing. And sana po ay hindi kayo magsasawa sa pagtulong sa mga kabataang nagpapari dito sa Christ the King. And uh, finally, I'd like to greet Melanie Likop. Melanie, we are praying for you. Hope springs eternal, as I told you in the In my email last night, wag tayong mawawala ng pag-asa. Melanie Likop, get well soon. And uh, also, binabati ko ang ilan sa mga sakristan sa Trinity Parish sa Batangas City, si um, Marcos, si Timothy, si Cole, si Kian, at sino pa ba? Marami sila. Uh, bina, uh, si Mark Neal at ang iba pang mga sakristan sa parokya na napakasisipag at napakababait na mga bata. Let us all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. service in honor of Saint Joseph. Praises. Be blessed Saint Joseph, a person according to the heart of God, 
you were found worthy to care for God's own mother and be a father of his beloved. We honor in your person the choice of the Eternal Father who wished to share with you his power over his only begotten Son, the choice of the Divine Son himself who wanted to be subject to you and be called Son of Joseph, the choice of the Holy Spirit who singled you out to be the protector and chaste companion of his immaculate spouse, Mary Most Holy. We share your joy that you were permitted to cherish the child Jesus with tenderly love and care. We reverence the self-control and continence which you manifested all during those years when you lived under the same roof with his virgin mother. Praise be the Lord who has given you such a sterling character that the Virgin Mother could place her full trust in you to protect her. Be blessed and praised, our Father and Protector, for living a life so worthy of imitation. Make us zealous to follow in your footsteps. Petitions. Blessed Joseph, faithful spouse of Mary, ever Virgin, and guardian father of the child Jesus, we come before you to offer you our filial love and gratitude. We thank you for the loving care which you bestowed so faithfully on Mary and the Divine Child. Show that same fatherly care now to us who are members of Christ and the mystical bond of his body and blood. Blessed Father and Patron, be our intercessor with God. Implore for us that purity of heart which you always manifested in all your undertakings. Teach us your lively faith, your prompt obedience to God's will, your unassuming way, and your great love for Jesus the Lord. Glorious Saint Joseph, we implore your aid for the entire believing community, our Holy Father, and all the bishops, priests, and religious of the Church. Guide and assist also our temporal rulers. Be the mother of patience and diligence for all workers, and come to the aid of the poor and the afflicted, so that they obtain what they need to live worthy Christian lives. Be with us above all at the hour of death. Allow us to die in the arms of Jesus and Mary as you did, by the assistance of your powerful prayers. Intercede, we beg you, for the faithful departed, especially the deceased members of our families, that they may be admitted to the glorious vision of the triune God. In the silence of our hearts, let us present to God our needs, prayers, and intentions through the intercession of St. Joseph. Remember, most pure spouse of Mary, ever virgin, our protector, Saint Joseph, that no one ever had recourse to your protection or implored your aid without obtaining relief. Confiding therefore in your goodness, we come before you and humbly beg you, do not despise our petitions, guardian father of our Savior, graciously receive them. Amen. Amen. Prayer to Saint Joseph for one's family. Joseph, Joseph, strengthen, strengthen in our, our family every, every bond, bond of love which unites, unites us, us, the marriage bond, the love of parent and child, the bonds of mutual love between all. Joseph, protect our family from every danger, from without and from every threat to peace, unity and harmony within. Joseph, teach us to be kind and loving towards one another, careful for one another, tolerant of one another, forgiving towards one another. Joseph, may contentment with our lot and joy in each other abound in our house as we seek faithfully to serve and greatly to love God. Joseph, be you yourself a father towards the family of ours and pray Mary be a mother to us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Amen.